Smooth Productions. And then the time, and there's the two year time period where you hadn't received your rating. Uh, how were they help? How was the VA helping you? I was able to see a psychiatrist uh, every two months. I had access to uh, group therapy for things like stress management, sleep management, or big problems with uh with with sleep deficiencies. Like for example, I have what's called central sleep apnea. My brain literally stops telling my body to breathe when I go unconscious. So I don't stay unconscious for very long. And the you know you're you're not taking in full gulps of oxygen all night. You're losing um, blood circulation in the brain. You know it's stressing the heart. No wonder I had a heart attack at 38 years old. No wonder. Um, and they all they have. There's therapy there for. There's therapy for addiction abuse. However, because of how banged up my body is, I could go to the VA and they would give me morphine and a needle for free. As much as I wanted. I don't want to go down that road again. So there's no way. I, I told them uh, to put, I have an opiate allergy into my medical file. It's a, never let me, never let me near it. Uh, that's turning into a, an, a, an epidemic nationwide, opiate epidemic, and it's hitting the veteran community especially hard. And with, with everything that was because uh, the scandal with within the VA about uh, this is being a ton of problems broke when uh, General Shinseki was head of the VA. Uh, do you feel he received undue, um, I guess, undue criticism for that, or do you feel that was warranted? I absolutely undue. I had the the pleasure to serve with. Eric Senseki in my chain of command for almost the entirety of, of my service. Uh, he, as a, he was a Corps commander, uh, United States Army, Europe commander, and then he was the chairman, or he was the chief of staff, rather, so he was in charge of the entire army, uh, when I was in Guantanamo. I've met him personally. He's a soldier's officer. He actually cared about his men, which, uh, and, and unfortunately, finding an officer who cares about his soldiers and treats them like full human beings is relatively rare. That's uh, one of the reasons why I kind of stick out and have a good bond with my men, because they remember when they had a problem, when they had a question, they come and ask me, and I talk to them like they're a person. And I answer their question. I take care of their problem. That's part of the reasons why we're bonded so hard. Um, they had already, Washington had already ran General Senseki out of town when he objected to the invasion of, of Iraq, specifically with, uh, Rumsfeld, who said that we would be seen as liberators and not occupiers. Shinseki disagreed when asked about it in Congress, and he also said that the troop level that they were going in was far too low, and that the idea that it was going to be over in a matter of weeks or months was absolutely ridiculous, and you needed a much larger occupation force. And they ran him out of town. It's like the Obama administration gave him a second chance, saying, you were right, and put him in charge of the VA. Meanwhile, the, the Congress, mostly the Republicans, but also Democrats, keep cutting funding to the VA instead of increasing funding to the VA, like they should have done since we we were having two wars and they're going on for 15 years now. They should have the forethought that they were going to put a strain on the VA. But that's the right's plan to cut budgets so that uh, a federal organization stumbles and falls on its face 
And then they say, aha, and that's an opportunity to cut their budget again until they fail so they can privatize it. But no, uh, it was not his fault. He was the best man to fix it, and they ran him out of town. 